All right, I'd like to invite up our next speaker, Jose Cabrera. Jose is from Xavier University. Some of you heard him the other night. So welcome to Jose. I was born in a small village in Veracruz, Mexico. Dirt poor on a dirt floor. I lived in a small shack with aluminum walls and aluminum roof. No running water, no electricity, a bed and a bucket. My mother wanted something for me, so at the age of four years old, we crossed the border. I remember being in this blue GM van and driving through Mexico for days. We found ourselves in the middle of nowhere in the desert. It was a cold night. You could feel the cold air cutting through your chest like a knife. I remember looking up in the sky and saw how the stars illuminated the dark night. From a distance, I could see my father in the coyote, the man that brings you across, talking. He hands him some money and walks towards us. Next thing I know, the coyote's hands are gripping my thighs and pulls me away from my mother's arms. I'm kicking and screaming and yelling. And when I look at my mom, she turns her back and starts crying. I spent four days and three nights without my mom. The first time I was ever separated from her. But when we were in the United States, they kept saying, we're in the land of the free, the land of the opportunities. We don't have to suffer no more. Me, I was just happy to be back with my mom. We finally settled down in Cincinnati, Ohio, and my mom gave birth to my two beautiful but annoying little sisters. <laughs> and then my father started drinking too much, and he became an alcoholic and a drug addict. He beat me and my mom in a constant day. And then it, it continued on until I was eight years old, and he finally walked out on us. My mom struggled being a single, an undocumented single mother raising three kids in one of the toughest neighborhoods in Cincinnati, Ohio. She would work two jobs and I would see her in the most days for two hours. I quickly learned that if I wanted to survive in my neighborhood, I had to join a gang. So I started hanging around the wrong crowd and doing the wrong things. When my mom quickly noticed, she quit one of her jobs and became an activist. Every weekend, we were going to rallies, to marches. And she would share her story, how she jumped out of a moving truck to run away from Border Patrol. How she hid under cactuses, hoping that they wouldn't see her. How she almost got bit by a rattlesnake, and how my father would tell her, let's go back. And she said, no, my son is over there, and there's no man, no border that's separating us. Then when I turned 13 years old, I started sharing my story. And when I became 15, I became an immigration reform activist. In a few minutes, we're going to go to the, cap the Congress, and you're going to talk to your legislators. And you're going to tell them the story that you've heard of a friend who has DACA, of a friend who is undocumented. You're going to tell them why we need comprehensive immigration reform, why we need a clean dream act. Because we don't need more border enforcement. We don't need more money going to the, to the border. We don't need another wall. We need to put more investments in education. We need to stop investing in South America and Central America and Mexico. We have an opportunity to make a change you change America the way we want it. The way we want America to be for our kids, for our nephews, our siblings, and for our grandkids. And we have to start that right now and today. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. All right.